Earlier, we built export presets for transcoding, copying, and generation of nuke scripts. We can use that same function to build an export structure to populate the timeline. Even if we're not using Hero to distribute media and do other tasks, we can ask it to look on disk and to find files and then dynamically bring them into the timeline. So first we're gonna look at the previous template that we created. We want to bring in renders that were created for the set of the shots. We will select the shots and then right click and choose to build track from an export structure. We can choose our template and then we can change the name of the track where the renders will land on and we can also do this later. Let's select the task from the template that deals with the 3D and then press build. Hero will scan the network looking for the matching criteria and bring those files into the timeline. We can customize the template to look at any areas on disk to find criteria that matches our structure and our pipeline. We can create these export presets to ingest different elements that we want to populate the timeline with in a dynamic way. If we're not needing any of the other department elements and are only concerned with our edit and the composited shots, we can set up a template that solely focuses on that and then build a track that looks into the compositing output folders and we will set up the naming convention to match the outputs from the compositor. If we've created nuke scripts from Hero, we can prep them in the timeline with comp containers. These will not only have composited outputs, but they'll also directly link to the nuke script. So let's create some nuke scripts for these shots. Once we have done so, the track items will automatically get the nuke tag with the appropriate metadata. We can right click and build a track from an export tag. This will then populate the timeline looking at the rendered folder. Note the track will have a nuke tag on it as well. The media is offline as the compositing hasn't started yet, but once work gets completed, we can scan for versions and then have the composited shots in the timeline. 